Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to continue with the table we did for slope to roof conversion factor. And uh, we are going to see how we use this table to solve some estimating problem. The idea is you, it, when you specify a roof slope, Excel will be able to look into the table and automatically to get the conversion factor for you. So first of all, we are going to define a list of roof slopes. So select uh, from A2 to A12, and then right click, pick define name. We're going to type roof slope in one word without any kind of space in between. Click OK. This will be the first name we're going to use when we do the estimating. The second name is the whole table, including the conversion factor. So select from A2 to B12, select both the roof slope and also the conversion factor, and then right click, define name. Uh, this time we're gonna call that as roof table. Again, without any space, click OK. After that, uh, whenever you put your cursor somewhere else, and you can always go to the drop down box, uh, you can see how those two names are defined. Let's look at an estimating example. So, this is the uh, arbor framing, and apparently, we have rafter. Uh, the, the length of the run is 15 feet. What we're going to do is to specify slope. Uh, Excel will get a conversion fact for us. Then we can calculate the slope to length. To specify the roof slope, today we're going to learn something new. So you can pick column C. This is something called uh, data validation. If you go to the data menu and then find the data validation, what it does is to allow you to pick from a list. So go ahead, then the source to type uh, equal sign, and then type roof slope without any space. Click OK. Now when you move down to the blank space, it should allow you to pick from a list. So let's say if we want to pick 5 in 12, Now let's look up uh, the conversion factor. Remember the function we did previously, it's called equal lookup with the opening bracket. You are going to be looking for the roof slope you just specified, and you will be returning that value from the slope table we specified. So don't forget the opening and the closing bracket plus the comma in between. Uh, now, if you hit enter, this is the conversion factor from the table. Now to get the final number, the formula, formula is really easy. All you have to do is take your run length, uh, multiply it by the conversion factor. Uh, you Next, we're going to look at another example. The slope is 4 over 12. And what we need is to calculate the total number of uh, OSB sheathing sheets, just like plywood, and they come in four feet by eight feet sheet. So if we look at the building floor plan, we can see the dimensions are 72 feet long and 24 feet wide. But remember, you also have one foot overhand all around the building. So let's go back to our spreadsheet and go to the very bottom of the tab name and then right click, pick move or copy. Uh, we want to move this thing to the next and uh, create a copy. Check that, click OK. Now you have an identical sheet. Rename this as OSB. And uh, we're going to change some names. So, um, this will be flat area we have in square foot. Eventually we need an OSB sheet. 
we'll put the 716 inch OSB. And the flat area will be 72 by 24. But remember, with the overhang, you will be looking at 70, uh, 74 by 26. And the roof slope was 4 over 12. So the OSB sheets we're looking at, the coverage area is a little bit more than uh, 2,000 square feet. Uh, apparently, we have to edit the formula by round up this thing divided by 32 and uh, decimal place as zero. So you will be looking at a 64 sheets. This concludes our discussion on slope roof calculation. Thank you for your patience, and we'll see you next time.